it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. We're here at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting Wallarm. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Thanks for having me. My name is Stefan, and I, I'm one of the co-founders of Wallarm. Uh, so what we do is uh, helping enterprises, small and medium companies, to protect their web assets, our web applications, websites, microservices for different kind of threats. It can be SQL injections. All WASP top 10 stuff, uh, API abuse, whatever uh, the threat is, we can make sure that we can analyze the traffic for your assets and make sure that like no malicious requests actually uh, reach it. So we have a multiple products. So uh, one of the main product is the automated web application firewall for cloud environments and for the cloud native environments. And this is actually why we are here. Our uh, wall arm cloud native web is a perfect fit for the Kubernetes. So, or, and we have a lot of folks here who are, already have the Kubernetes deployments, and they are asking, hey, how we can plug in security in the most native way for the Kubernetes. And so how do you fit into the uh, Kubernetes ecosystem, and what specific security problems do you fix? Yeah, we basically help a lot of companies to protect their web assets in different, against different kind of threats. Like SQL injection, SACSXC, API views, and whatever. I like we started a company five years ago thinking about how we can protect assets of our customers against the threats tomorrow. And this is why we I hear like two years ago a lot of people started to ask, hey, do you guys support Kubernetes? Because we are moving to Kubernetes. We want to be sure that we can actually find a solution that can be a good fit for us. And uh, two years ago, we started to think about the Kubernetes. We released the version of our web application firewall for uh, the Ingress controller, and then released the version that, that can be deployed as a sidecar proxy within the Kubernetes pods. And here we are. I would say like we have a decent amount of the customers that are using Kubernetes version of Wallarm uh, to deploy it in their hybrid clouds and to protect their APIs. And. Uh did you have any announcements around the show that you could share with our viewers? Oh uh, yeah, sure, sure. So we're, for quite a while we support the ingress controller. So this is the way where you can plug in and analyze all the traffic for different kind of threats. Uh, this show we announced the support of the Envoy proxy at Istio. So we're, service mesh is getting, getting more traction and the, it's not only a thing like the, all the tech companies are now using, like even talking with the uh, big financial companies like Enterprise, Fortune 500, we see a lot of companies starting to use it, and they are asking us, hey, we need a new wave deployment. We don't have a traditional load balancer anymore. We want to be deployed right as a service mesh. So that's why we are announcing the support of the Envoy proxy, uh, which is a sidecar proxy in many cases, like for Istio, for instance. So uh, Istio is the next announcement. Basically, if you're using Istio, you can uh, protect the east-west traffic, but also the south-north traffic. So uh, whatever the deployment is, we can analyze those requests, analyze the anomalies, identify different kind of threats, and block those malicious traffic in real time. So this is a major announcement for this show. Right. And would it be possible for us to take a look at the product or get a demo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. We can do that. Great. So what are you going to show us? Our, so yeah, as I've said, we uh, released the new version of Wallarm that is built specifically for the Envoy and for Istio. So this is what I wanted to show you. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're, a lot of our customers are moving to the service mesh arch architectures. And uh, what they typically have in their environment right now uh, is a lot of bots and the APIs and microservices that are exposed. So we're, even there is, like, and I understand, like, a lot of people already have some security policies, 
the ability, the communication between the microservices, but not really like anybody is doing the deep analysis of the requests. And if any services they are available and exposed to outside, like nobody's really doing the deep inspection for different kind of threats. This is what we want to do. So with Wallar deployed, you can actually analyze the request for all your microservices being deployed are with the Istio or Ingress gateway. So in this case, if you have any traffic from outside, it will be analyzed and the different kind of attacks like SQL injections, XXE, cross-site scripting, a lot of API-related stuff will be analyzed, detected, and blocked in real time. What's more is that we actually can analyze the traffic between the microservices. So if one microservice is uh, uh, breached and the attacker has a control of it and he can expand the attack from inside an infrastructure and as we know like zero trust environment is a big thing for a lot of customers so in this case we also can analyze the traffic uh, of service to service communication and detect different kind of threats in real time so the deployment is pretty simple so it's uh, the way the same way as you deploy any other service uh, once you have it in place you will get an access to uh, a very slick API with different kind of dashboards that will show you what is happening in terms of the malicious traffic, about the vulnerabilities, our blacklists, about different kind of violations. What's cool is that you have the full visibility of our malicious traffic. So, uh, for instance, I can go to the events part and I'm seeing what kind of attacks are happening right now. So, as you can see, it's path traversal to one of the domains, you can instantly get some data for, for instance, last seven days and to see what was the malicious traffic to your APIs. Our, we do a great job by grouping together all the events. So if there are like multiple requests that are part of one attack, we usually group them together and you can see them as the one line. So all we do here is to make a few things. First, to make sure that you actually uh, identify all the malicious traffic and can block it. B, uh, we show you all those data so you can troubleshoot, you can understand what was the malicious attempts, uh, where the attackers are targeting, uh, what APIs are exposed. And uh, the third thing is like basically uh, having the actionable insight. So if you know that some of the vulnerabilities can actually be exploited. We create a ticket for you by saying, hey, we know that there is a path traversal vulnerability. Please go and fix it because it's something that can be exploited by the attackers. So it's very actionable. And you can instantly create the tickets for your developers, for your DevOps guys, uh, pretty much for everybody who is involved in making sure that your Kubernetes applications are running flawlessly. Great. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about uh, Wallarm? So the best place is basically a website, uh, wallarm.com. Feel free to reach out to us uh, at uh, Twitter as well, so, or, or swing by our office. We're in San Francisco. Thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blogs. Thank you. Thank you for having me.